Hey guys, this is Eric the OBX Picker. Going to be out doing a little yard sailing today. Uh, so I'm going to try to bring you some footage from out there and then we'll come back here and show you what I got. Stay tuned.
guys, this is Eric, the OBX Picker, back from yard sailing um, over the weekend. Did not end up picking up a whole lot this past weekend. I uh, am in preparation for going out of town, so for a couple of days, <laughs> I didn't want too much to have to process, but shh, I got it in here on the dining room table. Uh, my wife will not be pleased <laughs> with this being in here, but so I've got to get it cleaned off. Uh, but I wanted to show you what I picked up at today's yard sale. There was some footage of those yard sales. I uh, did not get any interaction because the uh, people that were there were kind of sensitive to the camera. <laughs> so I did get a chance to show you kind of what I was doing. So first item I got is these. Uh, this was from a sale that um, the guy was a little high priced. He did have some plush there that I was somewhat interested in. But these, sometimes the guys that are high priced don't care about like the small stuff. So these are all sealed. Um, they are CD write, writable disc and DVD writable disc. Uh, these I got for two bucks. Um, they probably sell for about 10, 12 bucks a piece. So about $30 hopefully on that deal. Um, that's a little box. I think my wife picked that up. Uh, I did get this from the thrift. Uh, if you see this, this is 49 cent. Take control of, of the exercise. This is about a maybe a ten dollar um, DVD, but 49 cent. Like what can you do? And these guys, if you don't really mess with these a whole lot, um, it's getting about that time of year where floats and pool accessories obviously are selling well. Uh, this, if you see the price, 99 cent, Intech. Intech is always a great brand to look for. And this actually sells for about 20 bucks. So not a, not a huge profit, but something decent nonetheless. These guys I picked up, these are Fisher Price racers. Um, and they actually go back and then go forward like they have that mechanism where you roll them, rev them up, and then let them go. So these uh, Fisher Price racers, um, these were in part of a bundle deal. Um, they have two dollars a piece on them, but I'll show you what else I got with it from that deal. Um, <clears throat> these things only sell for about 10, 12 bucks a piece. I did get the little, this rider, um, he was actually a throw in, and I'm not sure exactly he kind of looks like he, he was definitely a motorcycle guy and not one of these, even though they had him sitting there. Uh, the original riders for this were not there, so I weren't able to pick them up. But let me show you what I did get from that sale. So these quilts, um, the lady was probably close to my parents' age, uh, around 70, and she said they belonged to her grandmother. Her grandmother quilted them. Um, guys, don't sleep on quilts. I know... You know, certain ones go for more than others. Uh, the more intricate, the more they go for. These things um, were awesome. There's actually a little stainage on some of them. You have to be real careful when you wash these things. Uh, she said this; these quilts are probably over 100 years old. So some of them are in better condition than others. This one in particular, though, is probably a $150 quilt um, just because of what's on it. When you have uh, butterflies, that kind of stuff, it does need a little help. My mom, fortunately, is someone who knows how to quilt. Her mom was a quilter. So this quilt, like I said, will probably be around 150 bucks. So here's what I paid. $19 for the two Fisher Price and the three quilts. So she said $5 a piece. On those, I took a ball. Um, like I said, this one will require a little repair. There may be a little bit of stainage on the one because uh, back then people used these quilts. They weren't for hanging on the wall like they are today. So uh, that's what we spent there. And let's show you what else we got. So got this doctor's bag. Um, this thing is leather and it's obviously pretty old school. The zipper does work on it, but it's got some issue. So not gonna bring top dollar, but normally these sell for anywhere from 30 to $40. Um, this is even got somebody's initial on it, IBB. So I looked these up, like I said, they are kind of all over the map. I mean, obviously they're not for practical use at this point, more of a display piece. I uh, picked up this realistic 
Um, this is a cassette player, and I thought it was cool that it was in the little pouch. I like the vintage electronics, even though sometimes they let me down. Uh, this actually looked pretty clean, and the inside looked clean as well. So this and the doctor bag came together. Let's see what else I stuck in there. Also got some unused audio cassette. Uh, blank media is something I do pick up anytime I see it because you can bundle it with other items to make it more valuable. Also picked this up. This is Harry Potter, and this is actually a book on tape. Yes, cassette tape is what it's on. Um, so I thought this was cool just because Harry Potter is still popular. People do pick it up. So these four items also... These Kenwood speakers, um, Kenwood is a little older brand for sure, um, probably 80s maybe, 70s, 80s, um, so probably 40 years old. These speakers sell for about $75 as a pair. Um, they're little bookshelf speakers and they're small enough you can ship, so we'll be testing those out later on. And then also from that same sale, I got, with a little help from my friend Cernok, I got some vintage clothing. I swear this stuff off all the time. Then I end up finding it. This is L.L. Bean um, and it's vintage. Definitely old school. Um, he, he told me about the tag and what to look for and all that. I'm not sure on this item. I'm thinking probably 20, 30 bucks. Not the best one out of those. But these two are, are real cool. Um, this is actually my first find of this. Uh, this is Burberry, and it does have the vintage liner. Um, Cernot took a look at this thing, said a minimum 100 bucks is what he thought it would get on this just plain trench coat because it's clean. Um, it don't really have any flaws on it that I saw. And I looked it over pretty good. This clothing's not my go-to most of the time, but it is something that I like to pick up. Uh, this other jacket is a wool jacket, and I thought it was cool. It's got like this little insignia, um, Brave Rifles, and with a little bugle on it, number three. I'm not really sure. I haven't done a ton of research on this one. It does have the brass buttons on it. No insignia on that, but the inside is Alexandria, Oxford Street, London, uh, Wisconsin. So... It's, uh, I originally thought it was London, and maybe it is. Um, I'm not a huge clothing expert, but I showed it to Cernok. He said it definitely has value. It is it is wool, so I will go with the expert on that one. So I picked up all those items at a, at this sale for 70 bucks. Like me and the guy went back and forth. He's actually an antique dealer, um, so I knew I weren't going to get them for cheap, cheap. But I think I'll still do good on that one. Uh, this last one, well, not the last one, sorry. With the antique buy, also got this Ford Repop sign. Shout out to Rev Resale. But uh, this is a Repop. So, you know, probably 10, 15 bucks at most. Uh, I've got an antique booth now, so that's an item I know would sell in there. Um, so don't have to pay the fees and that well, that kind of stuff. And I actually got <coughs> one of the things, other things that I don't usually mess with, but I know that uh, <laughs> Tim over the years has been influencing me a little bit. So I got some show the glow pieces. I got a couple sherbet cups. I haven't been able to find these exact pattern. And honestly, I need to shoot pictures of Tim to Tim because I know he's like instantaneously this is what this is but these are sherbet cups I do know that much they are uranium glass they do glow um, but when it comes to the patterns I'm lost like uh, I'm learning but right now I'm not quite there uh, same type thing with these uh, these are probably not going to go on eBay I don't know that individual sherbet cups are worth a ton but like I said I, now I have the booth so I'm going to be doing some more pickups for that thing. Also got this. Um, this is a little bit more in my wheelhouse. Uh, this is Guitar Hero Live, and it's for the Xbox One. So it came with the guitar and the game. Now, if you're picking this up, let me just show you something real quick that you need to look for. Make sure 
with the Guitar Hero Live that you have this piece. Uh, this piece is very valuable. This is what plugs into your unit so you can actually play the guitar. Um, without it, you're gonna be dead in the water. So I made sure that this was included with the unit. That's an always ask. Um, if you're picking up other guitar heroes, make sure you ask for the dongle. Um, <laughs> weird word, I know. But that's the thing that connects it to the unit most of the time, If whether it's wired, whether it's wireless, you kind of need that. And also did get a Star Wars puzzle. Um, this is for my nephew, probably. Uh, my wife picked this up. So we might put it together. It's kind of cool. Um, my dad's a big puzzle guy. So uh, we'll probably check that out and see what's what. I just realized I forgot to tell you about the Guitar Hero Live. I uh, paid 10 bucks for that, and it sells for $100 plus shipping. Uh, the last one recently sold uh, was $100 free shipping with the game and the, you know, guitar with strap, that kind of stuff. I'm going to check that out and make sure it definitely works, uh, but I think I still should do fine on that. Uh, like I said, I will be bringing you some more haul videos soon. Um, uh, next week when I get back, I actually have a big estate sale to go to, so I plan on filming in there, and uh, we will continue to uh, put out more videos also stay tuned for what you're picking uh, i'm actually putting out a new series called what you picking i'm actually building footage for that series now uh, but it should be coming out this coming week i look forward to uh, getting you guys opinion on that i'm actually doing a lot of interviews with other pickers not just guys within our online community but guys that pick and resell in different ways or maybe pick to collect so uh should be some interesting characters coming soon thank you guys for watching as always and don't forget to uh subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed hit the bell the like button all that stuff helps us on youtube doesn't cost you a thing but uh, just a moment of your time and thank you guys for your support as always i uh, hope you have good finds and great picking have a good one